Welcome to another episode of Insightful. My name is Marcus Theodore. We've come out of the studio and onto location. I want to take you around to a couple of my favorite spots around CBD-ish area. So you can take your bridal party in between ceremony and venue. So it's nice and convenient and it gives you plenty of variety. Welcome to St. Vincent's Gardens. This is a perfect place to take your bridal party directly after a ceremony. It's easily accessible right from the road, so you don't need to kind of walk down into the gardens. As soon as you park, you're in the gardens. I love this place too, because it's very, very quiet. Uh, you won't have a hundred different brides here. This pathway along here, having the bride and groom walk, holding hands, shooting from behind, shooting forward, using foliage, for foreground, background. It's really, really beautiful. Some really gorgeous trees as well, and I love having the groom kind of lean up against his tree and then his wife come in and they just canoodle and it just it just gives you so much beauty in such a short period of time particularly when you are pushed for time between ceremony and venue so many places here to shoot this is by far my favorite gardens over Carlton Gardens over Exhibition Gardens over Fitzroy Gardens over Treasury Gardens this is the place to come. And right across the road, we've got some of the best homes in Melbourne. These gorgeous Victorian homes that back straight onto what used to be an old race course. Uh, and you can literally take your couple across here and use all this texture as opposed in direct contrast with all your gardens here. I think these homes are absolutely stunning backdrop. Literally 38 second drive in the car from St. Vincent's Gardens. We're here at Farrar's Place. We're backing in onto a childcare center now, which was an old railway train station, now a light rail as well. This place is spectacular, particularly in spring. You've got all these gorgeous florals coming down. You've got this amazing vintage brick wall. Great for a bridal party. Again, really accessible to get the limo down here, though you don't have to worry about parking. And literally from the road to the curb to the footpath, you're in position here. And again, gives you some really nice variety, some gorgeous contrast, particularly in spring. And um, right across the road, we've got this amazing bluestone cobble alleyway where you can, again have the bride and groom holding hands, doing a little Craig David, they're coming back again. It just gives you so much value for such a short period of time. Welcome to Treasury Place, in the heart of the city, but not in the heart of the city. Just on the outskirts, opposite Fitzroy Gardens. I love coming here purely because, again, variety is key for me without needing to trek, you know, from one location to another to stand in front of a door or stand in front of a tree. I want to be able to bring the bridal party to a place where they can move around and we get loads and loads of contrast. Here we've got stunning gardens and the backdrop we've got incredible Treasury Place all government buildings and as you span down the horizon there there's so many different varieties of architecture and it gives you gives you incredible contrast as you get your couples walking through there again in a short period of time you're getting as much variety as possible and again for me key is accessibility it's right there from the road you walk in and you're amongst the gardens it is absolutely perfect here i'm here at treasury Treasury building, uh, it's beautiful here. They hold a lot of civil ceremonies, a lot of witness ceremonies in here. I steer away from Parliament House where I can, particularly in the spring, summer months, because there's like 20 brides there. I want my brides to feel special. I want my brides to feel like they're the only girl getting married on the planet today. I don't want them to walk in and see another 20 brides comparing their dresses, their looks and so forth. I want them to feel very, very special. And I've, ha I've had, um, I've gone loggerheads with some photographers at times where they've gone, oh, we really want to use Parliament. I'm like, man, there's 20 brides there. Let's not do that. Let's make, it, make sure it's a little bit special for them. They go, no, no, I have these set shots in my head. Throw all that out. Ultimately, end of the day, ha make your couple special, make them feel special. You're going to get what you're going to get anyway. You create the backdrop. It doesn't necessarily need to be at this one fixed location. You can add the romance, you can add the beauty, the, the light and the composition. It is all you. Just make sure that they feel absolutely special on the day. 55 Collins Place is perfect to come, particularly when it's raining in the middle of the city because you've got all the inclement weather coming out. As soon as you get under here, you've got all this cover and you've got a bunch of cafes in there where you can take the a bride and groom and their bridal party. But also an amazing glass elevator, but it's a really good intermediate place to come when it's raining, but you still need that natural light on your bride and groom's face. 
How random is this? I'm at Navigation Drive at Docklands, and this is a little forest in the heart of the city. Here is amazing to bring couples. It's great just the bride and groom, but something for completely and utterly different. Uh, have them walking through here, holding hands, when low light dusk kicks in. This place, absolutely magical. And, you know, it's literally in the heart of the city. This is a time of the year where you need to do your research, you need to scout, you need to get out. It's not that busy. Your post-production should be nearly completely and utterly done. Get out this time of the day between ceremony and locations. Good time between, you know, 2.30 and 5 o'clock. Scout around the city, scout around your local. Work out, you know, where your ceremony is, where your venue is. Map some places out for you to take your couple. Because what you want to do is you want to make sure that you give them quality over quantity. That you know exactly what you're doing when it comes to uh, a shoot and you're not struggling and thinking about locations oh my goodness it's traffic here or it's starting to rain you've got this covered but now's the time where you hustle and you do your work and you get involved so hit me up if you have any questions or queries about the locations that we've had a look at today or there's any other locations that you're thinking about or your neck of the woods that you need to know I'm here to help as always I hope you found this episode helpful till the next time thanks for watching bye for now